Joining me now with the very latest in this ongoing saga and really a nightmare for the women involved, reporter Rich McHugh. He's a, an investigative reporter for us and has been on this story not just since the be very beginning, but even before it was in the headlines, Rich. I know you've been on this. So I, I want to start with the victims here because that is the most important thing. You're in touch with <clears throat> Jane Doe number one. What is the reaction to the latest conviction? Oh, well, from I'm in touch with a number of his victims, and the over, overwhelming reaction is just relief. Uh, you know, when when this came down, there was some of them said they were in tears; they couldn't even just compose themselves. They were re relieved because there is this other trial in New York that could be overturned, and so this effectively puts him away for a long time and puts everybody at ease. Um, I talked to, I spoke with Jane Doe, number one's attorney, briefly, and it was also a sense of relief um, that this that this that this is the outcome. Yeah, I can imagine. So, how did you end up meeting Jane Doe, number one, convincing her to talk to you and tell her story? Well, it was in 2017 after the stories about Harvey had come out. Um, she, I, I had figured out who she she had gone to the LAPD, and I had figured out. From a description uh who she was and i reached out to her, her attorney and met with her in in los angeles uh for several hours and heard her story and um promised to be anonymous with it obviously i've never told her story but it has been told anonymously in the la times and and recently parts of her story in the a the ap uh it's horrific and i always believe that if she were to tell her story uh, in a court of law, he would be found guilty. And that's that's essentially what happened here of the others that w went against him. Most of the jury found their their stories. Most of them can, would, would have convicted. But Jane Doe, number one, it was unanimous that all of them said because uh, she hardly knew this person, Harvey Weinstein. She was in town from Rome. She was visiting. She never contacted him again. It was it was a unanimous decision on their part. Do you get the impression, Rich, that she wants to stay um, in the shadows and doesn't want to come out publicly ever? I don't know. I think she wants to tell her story in the worst way she did back then. And um, I believe she's interested in telling her story. But you never know. Uh, she, no, we still don't know her identity now, and so she may want to want to remain that way. Yeah. It's hard to know. Understandable. Well, I, I think think it is interesting though. They they got convictions on three of the seven charges. Why not on some of the other cases we mentioned? Gavin Newsom's wife. I think the jury spoke afterwards, and I think some of what they said related to the fact that there was contact between Newsom and Weinstein after and in similar in some of these other cases. And so that put some doubt as to the motivations in some of the jury's mind. I and wonder. I, I, oh, sorry. sorry. Sorry, Rich. I just wonder. So he's got this this appeal happening in New York, the likelihood of overturning something like that. Are we in a situation where you've just got victims wanting to pile and pile on so that he never sees the light of day? Well, I think there's certainly that desire, but the, the court of law has to go, you have to be tried where the crimes occurred. That's my understanding. And so everybody, everybody breathed a sigh of relief when he was convicted in New York. Uh, now the Court of Appeals is thinking of, there's talk that they're going to overturn that, but this new conviction in L.A. Uh, essentially puts him away for a long time. We'll wait for the sentencing, but I think it gives his victims more comfort in coming in, in, in sharing their stories. But I, I, I think they also agree that they really don't have to do anything more in, in other courts of law. I think this is going to this is this might just do it. Right. So I guess the question being, is this it for Weinstein? Was this the final nail in the coffin? I believe it is. That's my personal belief. It's, I'm not a legal expert, and I think a lot of his victims believe it is and would like to see him remain in jail for the rest of his life. I know it's a relief for all of them. It's a relief for, you know, even reporters who worked on this because there is there is a fear that if he were to get out, he would, you know, certainly target people. Um, so my, that's my hope. <laughs> yeah, I think that's everybody's hope. What a nightmare. Um, he didn't testify during either trial. Any indication as to why he didn't defend himself? I think he has smart attorneys, and they, they probably realized it wouldn't be beneficial to his case to go on the stand because the prosecution, this is my personal interpretation, is very smart, and they would have torn him apart.
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.